Hello YouTube Red Reptiles here with another video and in today's video I'm going to give you guys an update on some new additions slash rescues that have come into Ready Reptiles here. also want to give you guys an update on the radiated tortoises, show you guys how they're growing, how they're doing in that habitat that we built in one of the previous videos. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. All right, so to start off, we got this little young sulcata tortoise here. Um, based on the plastron at this size, it's a little bit too young to actually, you know, 100% be certain of the gender. Uh, but I think it looks like a female just because it has a flat plastron and the kind of ventral scoot is a little bit wider uh, than normal. So meaning that it could technically pass an egg, but the tail is actually a little bit longer than I would suspect for a female. Uh, so it still has a lot of time to grow. So it could potentially be a male as well. So we're still like undecided on how to kind of tell if it's a male or female yet has slight pyramiding here this guy uh, was dropped off a few days ago actually um, it is a rescue i always get animals coming and going here at ready reptiles so i try to take in as many as possible as you guys know so cotta tortoises in my opinion do not make the best pets uh, they are very cheaply sold uh, they're readily available but they obviously grow very large and are destructive and need and require lots of ample space as you guys know with my other sulcatas that i've had in the past i still have goobs and gabs but this guy right here just kind of roaming this area around um it also has a little friend over here if you can go ahead and see it it is this nice little five-year-old leopard tortoise you can see he's kind of just taking a nice little nap here in between these bushes here also I'll go ahead and grab it real quick to show you guys a better view uh, but this guy's doing great it came to me a few months ago about a month or two ago um, the person that was giving him away just had to get rid of him because they were moving. Uh, it has a slight injury on the back here. Um, their dog kind of got it and dropped it, not to eat it, but just to kind of show the old owners. And this guy's been walking around here. Uh, for those that don't know, leopard tortoises in the state of Florida um, usually suffer from upper respiratory infections because of the higher humidity. Uh, this guy's doing great knock on wood, and that's because it's in direct sunlight constantly, has lots of grass to graze. Uh, so this guy's doing good here, and then over there, that's all caught up. We can go ahead and see. I'll go give you guys a nice little zoom. It's doing good as well. So these guys are going to be, you know, out here doing their thing. On this side of the yard, we're still in that same pen. We have a nice little sectioned off area. And uh, I got two Russian tortoises recently as well. This right here is the female, obviously a lot larger uh, than the male. I've kind of made some makeshift hides here, but I've seen and found out that they actually enjoy kind of hiding and digging themselves slightly under these areas. And then under this log right here, if I'll go ahead and lift this up, is the male. Uh, he's obviously a lot smaller. This one kind of has a slight overgrowth on the beak. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw a video on them. And I'm going to go ahead and trim this here, but I'm just kind of giving it some chance to kind of settle itself down. Uh, they are eating very good today. They ate some butter lettuce. You can see here some of the extras that they didn't kind of get to. Uh, but these guys are doing good. Um, they really enjoy the little kind of, you know, like I said, snuggering down, kind of making their little burrows, just a piece of plywood, some two by fours, um, you know, slight bricks to separate it. Very simple habitat. If you guys remember this habitat, um, it was the old radiated tortoise habitat. I'll go ahead and give you guys a nice little zoom out real quick or a pan of it just to kind of show you guys there's my shadow. Um, but you can see it is decent size for them and they, uh, you know, they enjoy it. And I just wanted to get them outside as fast as possible after they completed the quarantine process. So, um, you know, kind of things are everywhere in this habitat, but they're doing good. Um, it's a pair, so they're not that big. They have enough space to kind of get away from each other. The male originally was biting the female when they were inside. Uh, but I went ahead and once I put them out here, they were good to go and separate. And then here's a nice little shot of both these guys next to each other. Uh, the Sokata is obviously newer than the leopard tortoise, but, you know, these guys more or less obviously come from the same habitats because they're both from Africa. Um, they don't really cross too much. You know, maybe in certain countries they may cross over, but they eat the same things. They're grassland species. They both require, you know, high fibrous diets. And these guys graze all day. So I do kind of supplement a little bit of lettuce in their diet. Uh, but they, you know, eat grasses and haze. And that's the most important part. So there's a little leopard tortoise. And then there's a sokata. All right, so over here, these are the younger radiated. Believe it or not, these guys have taken off in growth. So these two have grown significantly. Uh, the one back there is actually my oldest radiated tortoise in terms of the younger ones. And, you know, a little bit on the smaller side, but they all grow at different paces, different rates. Um, they all eat the same. They have the same diets, the same habitats, the same, you know, living requirements. But, you know, they just grow differently. Um, we got some of the younger ones kind of walking around. 
Um, they obviously look a lot dirtier than they used to, but that's because they are now outside in the elements. There is dirt, uh, you know, different clays, different muds. This gets very dusty when it rains, uh, when it's just windy. So, you know, I don't mind it because it's more a natural element for these tortoises. If we go ahead and step inside here, you can see the rest kind of hunker themselves down under this small little alocasia. So here are some of the smaller ones. On this side, we got one of the younger ones and i'm missing one but that's just because they're probably walking around and uh, doing their thing so everybody has a nice little place um they do their thing like i said they walk around i just put some fresh water but they obviously dirtied it up for me uh, but that's just a good sign because they're going ahead and getting themselves refreshed and all these tortoises like to hang out under this little hide that i also made if you remember this was on top of the old habitat but it's just kind of propped up to give them some extra shade and uh, if you notice like, how big these guys are getting in comparison to when they when I first got them, which where they were this big. So if you guys go and watch some of those older videos, you'll see how much these guys have grown. So, um, you know, everyone's doing their thing, walking around. Uh, they bask. My only, you know, concern with this habitat is that it does flood. So if I'm not watching it when it's, you know, watching the weather and making sure it doesn't rain, I, uh, you know, I got to take them out as soon as possible. So, yeah, so this habitat, like I was explaining in the previous clip, um, I like that they're outside. Um, I obviously want them to be outside. That's my goal with all my animals, especially my tortoises. The faster I can get them outside in a safe, secure area, uh, they're going to grow better. You know, the UVB and the UVA rays from the sun allows them to have beautiful immaculate growth. Um, obviously, we do get some slight pyramiding with some of these tortoises, but it's inevitable because they are eating such a variety of diet. Um, they grow at different paces. So if they're growing too fast, sometimes that can, you know, cause them. But um, all these animals are doing great. I'm very happy with them. But like I said, this habitat floods. So that's because it's clay in my yard and it's a little bit lower in elevation than I would appreciate it to be. Um, some spots like where you saw the leopard tortoise and the socada, um, that doesn't flood because it's higher. The Aldabra cage with Victoria, the other radiated floods slightly, but not as much as it used to. That's because I've kind of raised it up over time. So my goal in here is to go ahead and throw some more dirt. I'm not too sure what I want to do. So if you guys have any comments or any experience with kind of taking care of flooding in an area, um, I don't know if, I, if me leveling it or elevating it more um, will prevent it from flooding or it will just kind of flood at a higher pace because, um, or not at a higher pace, but you know, it'll flood at the level that I raise it to anyway. So I just want better drainage here. As you guys know, I suffer with the same issue with the Sulcatas, but they both have mounds that they stand up on when it rains, or I go ahead and put them inside their elevated shelter. So I'm not too worried about those. They're a lot harder, of course. These guys are just so little. Some of these smaller ones can go underwater very fast because you know, two, three inches is a lot for a smaller tortoise. So this habitat's great. Otherwise, it has lots of shade. You know, they kind of ran through all the grass. As you notice this grass next door. Um, my goal now is to kind of give another addition to separate the smaller ones from the bigger ones so that they can go ahead and kind of grow more equally to their group sizes and then obviously i have victoria and the aldabras which just eat hay and vegetables and obviously missouri same with here um, but that's just because they're of equal size over there too so that's kind of a little bit of an update on these radiateds uh, the habitat obviously i'll go ahead and show you some of the other aldabras and the other radiate just because we're really next to it but um kind of an overall video just to talk about what's been going on here at Ready Reptiles. So if we look over here, we got Plato and Chalice. These guys are my youngest Aldabra tortoises. They're both kind of just taking a snooze. Uh, for those that don't know, tortoises are creatures of habit. Uh, they're also crepuscular, meaning that they're most active at dawn and dusk. Right now, it's almost about five o'clock. So here soon in an hour, they'll pick up the pace and start walking around. Uh, speaking of walking around, there is Victoria. Victoria is my eldest radiated tortoise. I'm not sure how old she is. She's definitely over 10 to 12 years old. Uh, but she's doing her thing. She's walking around. She's actually a lot more active than uh, when I first got her, which is very, very good to see. I'm very happy with that. She's definitely settled in nicely. So these guys all live together right here. Uh, if you notice, the Aldabras kind of have their necks extended, and that's a very common sleeping habit that they do in the wild. Sometimes you can see them, you know, cuddling in a sense where they cross necks and they just relax together. And then here is Victoria. Um, she is beautiful. You can see how big she is. Uh, but her size compared to you know, some of these larger radiators on this side are pretty, you know, not equal, but you can tell how much these guys have taken off in the last, you know, few months that they've been outside, you know, getting consistent natural sunlight because they were outside, obviously, but I would bring them in. I still bring these in when I have the opportunity to, uh, but they also are eating grasses, different weeds, things that I kind of find around the yard and throw around. Here's Buster. He's doing his thing in his perch, of course. We have to modify it a little bit, make it shorter because he chopped that off, if you notice right there. Uh, these guys have very strong beaks 
And then, of course, the star of the show, my oldest, Aldabra Tortoise, Aristotle. Um, you can see how massive this guy has gotten. I'm pretty certain that Aristotle is a female along with Plato and Chalice just because um, they are extra scoot socata. Uh, it's not socata, sorry, Aldabra, meaning that they were incubated at a certain temperature, uh, making them, you know, more likely to be female. But this guy has calmed down tremendously. She's a lot more, a lot more you know, less nervous, allows me to kind of be around it and... You know, they love eating these hay. So they're high fiber species as well, like the socatas or grassland species. So I feed them hays and grasses and I integrate different veggies and obviously Missouri's. But this guy will go ahead and we'll give him a nice little scratch. He loves it. You can see they feel everything. Um, so it's a very cool little clip there. Um, but these guys are doing great. So I'm very happy with the progress that all my tortoises have been making. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, like, and see my fellow herpers for more content. I post more consistently on my Instagram. TikTok, I also do post, but it's kind of just overlap from the Instagram video. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I have plenty of content on TikTok that you have never seen before. And that's because I used to post consistently a lot. So there's still lots of videos out there. If you go ahead and give me a follow there, it's all at Ready Reptiles. As you can see, we got the Sokata walking around. Here's the habitats. Everybody is doing good. I want to give you guys that update and provide you guys with some information on these animals. If you guys have any other video suggestions, feel free to comment down below. I do read all the comments. I try to reply to them as I see them. And of course, I'm willing to make more content. I just, you know, with jobs and school and finishing my, you know, bachelor's degree here soon, I am just in motion and just, you know, life itself is just a priority, of course. And so are the animals. Just because I'm not uploading videos doesn't mean I don't have animals. And I also obviously give them the best care that I can provide as I always have. So like I said, for more daily content, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and see you my fellow herpers.